So how does it feel to be nominated by people in your industry who are doing the same thing that you, that you do? Is it? Oh, completely thrilling. I mean, just really, really wonderful. That That is one of the... It's a, it's a sort of deeply joyful, satisfying, almost a relief. <laughs> you know, you think, OK, I didn't do too badly. Um, but, yeah, I am, I'm just absolutely thrilled to be here. You know, I wrote this script just over two years ago, a first draft in my living room. I hadn't told anyone about it. I didn't think anyone would necessarily ever see it. I thought you can write whatever you want because no one's going to watch this. Uh, and now, suddenly, here we are. It feels like a, a really crazy, wild ride somehow to get to this point. But I'm absolutely excited. And the exciting thing for me is it seems to have sparked off a whole number of conversations as well since the film has come out. Pretty much every time I go into a news site on a weekly basis, there will be something else talking about it and something else the film has brought out. Has that been exciting, seeing the audiences responding to it? Yes, yeah, hugely. And I, I, it was not my intention to write anything controversial or anything like that. Initially, I just liked the setup. I loved the characters. I loved hearing them talk to each other in my head writing them they made me laugh I wanted to know what happened between them and so when I'm in my own little private world with that I never think oh this is going to be controversial or this will start some conversations I just think this is a film I'd really like to watch but what's happened subsequently to it coming out is and a lot of that is to do with Emma's involvement as well and bringing it to a lot of wider attention is that it has started some of these conversations about sex about shame about how we communicate about intimacy and um, I've really enjoyed participating in those, but also observing them. I, I, I hadn't really expected it to, for people to want to talk about this subject matter this much, um, but I'm really delighted. And I get lovely messages every day from all kinds of people, but often from women saying, this has really made me want to take charge of this aspect of my life, or I always felt very bad about this and now I don't, or something like that. And those are my favorite messages because I wasn't really expecting that level of connection. And so that's been wonderful. It is exciting to be in Britain where independent films with stories like that can be told. You know, I think it, perhaps in Hollywood or somewhere like that, these things wouldn't be able to be made. Um, but, but being amongst, the, you know, the BFI and Biffers and um, Raindance, the, these are the kind of places that you can go where these stories will be received? Yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure. I think th this whole community, this whole building is full of people fighting to get unusual stories told to screen. And so... You know, it's incredible to be here amongst all these people because we're all trying to do the same thing. And I, I think, you know, without these people, without this community and this increasing community, it's 25 years since it started, without that support um, and sense of excitement for one another's work, I think a lot of those stories may not make it to the screen. And that would be such a shame because, you know, in the past, it has sometimes felt like the big films have come from quite a narrow demographic. Whereas now that feels like it's expanding every year, every year. And you find that films that bring joy, humour, that are interesting, that are dramatic, from all kinds of unusual places, are just starting to come out blooming like a garden. And um, I think it's just really fantastic to see it. Oh, just, it's great. And aside from getting your own film out, what's been the exciting thing for you in British cinema in 2022? I have not managed to watch a single thing because <laughs> in a sort of panic and a mad sort of oh my god what should I do with myself now I've written another three screenplays and I've been in this crazy manic work sort of phase which has been wonderful but I'm taking two weeks off over Christmas and I have about 400 films to watch and I'm very very much looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice.